Need help with fixing the 500 internal server error? Then stay tuned and follow the tutorial to learn how to do it. The 500 internal server errors in WordPress's case can mean that a script that's part of the theme or plugin did something it shouldn't have done, and now your server has crashed. First, turn on debugging. It won't fix the problem, but it may give you more insight into what's going on with your site. You need to edit the wp-config-php file. Search wp debug line and set the parameter to true. Then save the changes and reload your site. The server error may disappear and might be replaced with a different error, one that actually tells you where the issue is. Next, deactivate all plugins and switch themes. Deactivate all your plugins and see what is what. If the website loads without the server error, that means one of the plugins has caused an issue. You can switch them on one by one to figure out which one it was. You can also switch your theme to a default, like 2015. If the site loads without the internal server error, the issue is within your theme. Check your HT access file. The HT access file, if it exists, contains a number of rules that tell the server what to do in certain conditions. If it's usually used for rewriting URLs or preventing access to your site for malicious intent, Use FTP Editor to check whether you have an HT access file in your WordPress root folder. Create a backup and delete all the contents within, or the whole file. If the error is resolved, then HT access file caused the problem. Restore the file, and then delete blocks of it. If at some point the site starts working, you know which blocks the issue is in. You can narrow it down to a single line, and then remove that line or ask your developer or your host for further assistance. There are a few uncommon issues which can lead to internal server errors in WordPress. In that case, it's better to ask your host. It could be a genuine server issue, which they can at least confirm and they can also look at things like file permissions and other sources. Subscribe to our channel to find more life hacks and tricks on how to improve your website.